right. Uh, moving on to Matt here. Matt shares with us a quick tip about the iPad uh, and uh, and floating apps, slide over apps really is, I guess, what we want to call them. He says, I love being able to switch main windows in iPad OS by swiping the the little line at the bottom that simu- that that is the replacement for the home button on non home button iPads. Uh, he says, I love being able to switch uh, apps by just sliding the home button left or right. I recently accidentally found that slide over apps and floating windows are actually persistent and uh, you can switch between those in rotation the same way by sliding the little at the bottom of each of those. There's a little home slider as well, and you can just slide left and right to get from one app to the other. I don't know that I ever noticed this, Matt. So thank you. I, you know, multitasking on the iPad. I'm, I have not installed the iOS 15 beta on my iPad yet, uh, but I am, or the iPad OS 15 beta to be more correct. But uh, I am eager for the improvements in the UX of multitasking because I always get lost whenever I get into like split window view. And I mean, I sometimes intentionally get myself there, but then it's like, wait, how do I get out of this again? What do I do? It's just not intuitive to me. And clearly wasn't intuitive to lots of people with Apple uh, having changed sort of the, the way it exposes what to do next in iPad OS 15. So I'm looking forward to that. So thank you for this, Matt. That's great to know. I, uh, I always feel like whatever window I have floating, it, it like, in order to replace it, I have to figure out a way to like swipe it out of the way and bring a new one in and all of that. So yeah, pretty good. 